Nothing can hurt us now. What we have can't be destroyed. That's our victory. Our victory over the dark. Yo, so what's going on, guys? Box out here, and uh, did you guys like the intro? I kind of liked it. That's I, I know I put it in there just just for the hell of it, you know. Just heard it heard it on a song, so I'll just link down a song and uh, the uh, intro itself down below in the description. Because uh, you know, I, I don't know, I just felt like putting it in the beginning of the video. Hundred subscribers reached that little milestone. Not really sure if you could call it a milestone, but anyway. And uh, just gonna want to talk about all kinds of different things. Now, first off. Me personally, I joined YouTube on June 9th, 2008, which was seven years ago, and YouTube was a very different fucking place back then. And you wouldn't believe it. I mean, holy shit. I mean, just, an, just a really different place. Uh, I think that when I first uploaded my very, very, very first video, uh, it was still, uh, you know, the little square. Uh, it wasn't a 6T9, it was a 4-3 player. And, and th they changed it really soon after I joined YouTube, but I mean, it was st still that square player, <laughs> it was fucking hilarious, uh, uh, but yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's changed so much since then, you had the star ratings back then as well, which was, uh, <laughs> I, it was so, so sad when that went away, but, uh, then they come, came up with the like system, and people fucking forgot about that shit, but yeah, um, and they used to have the, uh, the, star the info section that you see in the videos these days, the descriptions, they used to be on the sidebar, which was, you know, off to the side of the video, of course, which, um, obviously when you expanded that thing, you know, usually it would just push the, uh, related videos down, which, uh, yeah, but, uh, and then I uploaded my first Call of Duty video in, uh, February, on February 8th, 2011, which, some really shitty gameplay, I have to say, like, the quality is just shit, and obviously my, the quality of my videos was shit for a long time until I got a PS4, which has the, capture feature but uh yeah i mean it's it's um uh, you know i just i'm gonna link down below a lot of links in the video description t today but uh, yeah i'm gonna link down below the uh video where i um where i when well, my, fir my very first call to the video i'm just gonna link it down below you guys can go and watch that shit and just go like oh what the fuck were you thinking you now because what the fuck was i thinking with that gameplay i don't know but uh yeah, yeah, like 2011, that was still when COD was fucking fun, you know, you had Black Ops, and I still have my, yeah, I think, I, yeah, I didn't even have head, a headset back then, I, I don't think, and then I got a headset later on that summer, I think, which was a Triton AX180, those lasted for like a year, I think, a year, and then I got the, uh, a year or two, and then I got the uh, Steel Series headset that I have n right now, which is a good headset, I do think so, uh, it has some echo issues, but other than that, it's pretty good. Uh, you can just uh, look at my review and unboxing of that. I do have those on my channel as well. Anyway, uh, you know, 100 subscribers. Not, not not a lot of active subscribers, but still 100 subscribers. And I think that's, uh, you know, it's something. But uh, I remember, like, what, back in the day, you know, when, like, you know, you have... I think, like, when people had, like, 100,000 subscribers, that was like, dude... A hundred thousand subs, man. A hundred thousand, and when it was like, it was like, you know, C Niners and Hutch and fucking like, who else? Who was it? C Niners and Hutch and uh, the old school motherfuckers. Uh, Zergres. Oh, Zergres. Oh my God. Yeah, and uh, like when I really started like looking at the Call of Duty YouTube scene, like 2010, 2011, like when Zergres was th like when like when Grizz was the, like the king of the fucking Call YouTube Call of Duty sh shit. And nobody fucking knew anything about like fucking uh let's see like Pomage and fucking no fa I think yeah phase ex already exploded at that point uh but uh, yeah nobody knew anything about Pomage nobody knew anything about fucking most of the new phase guys that are st that are, that are in the team right now uh you know and when Spatty was like when Spatty was just joining uh phase that was kind of like a thing back in the day and then uh c Anders, when he was still uploading those like three minute videos where he went like 30 and 0 or 30 and 1 in free for all with the streaks uh the uh, blackbird chopper gunner and dogs <laughs> like we come a long way from that and you know hutch was all of course still making videos and he didn't go through the shit that he did go through and it's, you know it's just a very different place these days um 
And as I said, a hundred thousand, like, I remember when, like, uh, like when, uh, I think, like, like, Pwn Star for Hire was still, like, the shit, um, Woody's Gamer Tag was still doing Call of Duty, uh, and, like, Woody was, like, there was, like, between, like, Woody and, uh, T. Martin and, uh, uh, yeah, I do think LEA was still a bit there as well, but not as much as today, like, it took LEA and T. Martin a couple of years before they really picked up, like, 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 they really, really, really picked up, like, I think, like, uh, you know, it wasn't until, like, like, really, like, NW3, like, pushed a lot, but, like, Black Ops 2 was the Call of Duty that exploded the YouTube scene, like, it, it like, it, it just, it blew the fuck up, and it was, um, like, T. Martin and LEA and, uh, Drifter, especially, Drifter made his fucking money on Black Ops 2, like, he made, he made his channel on that game, uh, and of course, Battlefield 3 was also, like, Battlefield 3 was the game that, that uh, really blew up the uh, Battlefield YouTube scene, like, nobody gave a shit about that game on YouTube until Battlefield 3, and of course Battlefield 4 then, uh, but, uh, you know, it's so, like those years have, ha years have just, like, flown right the fuck by, and, and also, like, I remember when I started watching the, because uh, I still watch them today, the, like, the CTFXC vlogs, remember when I started watching those, and it was like, holy shit, like, it's, it is... It is just a different world compared to those days. It is just unbelievable how different it is. And a lot of people don't even remember that. A lot of people just, a lot of people just these days, a lot of people just lo lo you know, like know just like Rome and Atwood or, is it Atwood or Atwood? I don't know. Like those, like those types of people and, and uh, Jenna Marbles. Like, I don't know. I, I think Jenna was actually one of the original motherfuckers. Like, she was like one of the uh, ones that had been doing this for a very, very long fucking time. Now uh, I think Midnight, yeah, up to Midnight, I think she was also doing it, but uh, like it was so much smaller back then. And I think when Optic was still, like, still something, because Optic was still something. I mean, I mean, like the uh, Optic, I, I, because I, I really don't think that, you know, like back in the day, Optic was like something still. But like these days, Optic is all about like, um, like the competitive scene. But I think that I think that the YouTube channels are pretty dead. I think, and like Envious, I think Envious is the same because Envious started out as a YouTube thing. But I think that they're more focused on the competitive side of things these days. And like, um, just in general, esports is like a whole new, different fucking, you know, sport and play playground and whatnot. And it's it's just been it's been such a different experience like the past year and especially the past two years. Like it's. Like, like as I said, Black Ops 2 kind of blew up with the YouTube shit. Uh, then, uh, because it had leak play and that kind of pushed the, uh, like the MLG scene really into it. And then Counter-Strike Global Offensive started pushing out because people got tired of Battlefield, people got tired of Call of Duty. And I myself, I stopped playing Battlefield 4. I just, I, I, can, I just can't fucking enjoy that game. And, and like, Counter-Strike Global Offensive is getting a shitload of new players all the time. And it's kind of like blowing up and it's been... Really good on the ESL scene, uh, you know, for a long time. And then, of course, uh, you know, we have a lot of uh, other different games. And Mortal Kombat is again on the ESL, which I find funny because it's just button meshing, but competitively, which I, I I find that fucking hilarious. To be honest with you, I just I find it hilarious. Uh, but uh, yeah, it is just such a different scene than what it was like in 2008, especially 2008 uh, and 2009, because like. 2008, I don't think people realize that 2008, we didn't even fucking have FaZe, for fuck's sake. And, like, like FaZe just wasn't there. They just simply weren't there. And then, of course, I, I, was, I think it was 2010 when they started uh, with the NW2 trick shots and shit. But, uh, you know, I still, they, they still don't have most of the original motherfuckers anyway in there, so I don't, I don't really understand that. But, uh, you know, it's just... Like back in the day, it used to be about making making videos and getting ten thousand views, but now these days it's like people get a, like people assume that they get ten thousand likes on their videos, not just ten thousand views. They get they want you know two hundred and fifty thousand views. Like I remember back in the day, like it used to be like if your video got a hundred thousand hits, it went it was a viral video. But these days, if you get a hundred thousand, everyone's like, who gives a shit? You have to hit a million these days, and it's, you know, when, when a video blows up, it blows up. 
you know, and it's it's alarming. And you know, back then, you know, the most viewed videos were actually videos instead of music videos, which is also a thing that has changed YouTube a lot. But uh, yeah, it's it has all changed so much, so so much since when I started YouTube or when I started making videos and. I do this for fun. I don't. I. I don't ex ever expect to blow up like those guys did. But uh, you know, right place at the right time for a lot of people. But uh, yeah, just comment down below what your YouTube experience has been and uh, all that jazz. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.